Welcome back. Yes, a very composed composer. Well, David, uh, last night we were talking about surfing and uh, we're still on the beach tonight. Okay, we're still on the beach because if the surf's not up, there's a few games you can play on the beach and uh, I'm going to talk about two tonight uh, that have interesting backstories. The first is pétanque, which is that uh, French bowls, that idea you've got the sort of steel balls trying to get that object ball. Now, it actually comes from our, one of our favourite words on this show, and that's a Latin word for foot, which is ped, coupled up with a, a Provençal word, tanca, which is together. And you must have your feet together when you throw the ball. That's why the originally the uh, word petonque actually pertains to the thrower's body position. Um, now, the other game, and one of my favourites, is frisbee. And frisbee just sounds like one of those made-up words, a trademark. It was a trademark, but back in the 30s, it wasn't a flying disc. It was actually a pie company, spelt with an I-E. A pie company? A pie company in uh, New England, uh, in the US. And uh, during the 30s, they created these pies in these um, cake pans. And the cake pans were perfect for flinging. They were the original Frisbees. <laughs> they the were. The actual tin lid. They were tin lids. Yeah, that's right. And you can play with your tin lids. And, in fact, this whole idea of uh, Frisbee being in homage to this pie company it reminds me a little bit of the tin lids when you get uh, that you know, Christmas toy of actually almost throwing the toy out and playing with the box because that's exactly what they were doing with the Frisbee. Forget the pie. Let's throw this pan. That's fascinating background of the Frisbee. I yeah. never knew that. Great story. <laughs> Thank you, David. Let's have a look at our scores before we move on. Pat is uh, leading quite strongly on 14 points at the moment. And we head into our next letters game. And, in fact, Pat, it's you to choose. Um, Lily, could I please start with a vowel? Thanks, Pat. A. Um, I have another vowel, please. B. Uh, can I have a consonant? C. And I'll have an another vowel, please. A. Uh, can I have another consonant? L. And yet another consonant? R. And we'll go in another consonant, please. H. I'll have a vowel, please. E. And one more consonant. Thank and you. last letter, P. Thanks, Lily. Here's the clock. Well, Pat, how many did you get from that mix? Uh, just got a six this time. Six for you, Graham. Six also, uh, Richard. Let's start with you then, Graham. Uh, preach. And yours, Pat? Um, cereal. Cereal. <laughs> I like that, David. <laughs> I was hoping Pat would have preach as well, then we could sort of essentially preach to the converted with uh, <laughs> the same answer. Both fine for six. And, of course, uh, it's not cheaper by the dozen. It's cheaper by seven points. Thanks very much, David. And six points each for Graham and Pat. Great to see Graham on the scoreboard. Let's keep those letters moving. And, uh, Graham, could you provide a selection this time, please? Certainly, Richard. Uh, Lily, can I have a vowel, please? Thanks, Graham. I. And another one, please. A. Uh, and a consonant, please. C. And another one. R. And another one. P. And one more, please. S. Uh, we'll go another vowel, please. I. And another vowel, please. O. And we'll finish off with a consonant, please. Last letter, N. And here we go. How many for that time, Graham? Six, Richard. Pat? I um, think I've got a seven. OK, we'll, we'll hold on that for a moment, but uh, you're f six first, Graham. Acorns. 
And your seven, Pat? Um, prosaic. Prosaic. Oh, wow. Whoa, we like that one. <laughs> From little things, big things grow. It's a great seven, Pat. Well played. Um, and, in fact, uh, the best that I could find as well. A couple of other sevens, but prosaic is the best of them. It's a lovely word. It is a beauty, and Pat has scored well. Another seven points. Well, while Pat's on this sort of roll, I think we should get her to choose some numbers for us as well. So, what would you like, Pat? Lily, could I please have five small numbers and one large one? Thanks, Pat. One large and five small. And our numbers are eight, ten, nine, seven, one. The large number is 75 and the target number is 345. 30 seconds to get there. Did you like those numbers? No. Not as much as the, <laughs> not as much as the letters. No, definitely not. Okay, were you within ten of the target? No, not at all. Okay, Sorry. outside the, the scoring range. Graham, yeah. what about no, you? No, I'm having all problems with the numbers tonight. Uh, okay, but... so nothing from either of you. No. No offerings, Lily. Was it a very tough one? It was very tricky, Richard. Um, but uh, I can talk you through it. Here we okay. go. Now, seventy-five by seven is five hundred and twenty-five. Right now, we're 180 away. And what you do is um, add the 9 and the 1 and the 8, which is 18. By the 10, that gives you 180. So subtract that away, 345. Oh, nicely done. But unfortunately, no score in that round for either Graham or Pat. Graham on 6, Pat now on 27. And we're heading for another break and another word mix, corny art. And the clue, Mary, Mary, quite the opposite. See you shortly.